Ever since Apple announced their surprise event, the rumors and leaks have been nonstop. So in this video, we're gonna be uncovering all of the last minute leaks and what I think that we're actually gonna be getting in this event. So I'm sorry I've been MIA for the past few months. However, I'm back at it. So don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more of me. Now let's get into it. Apple's cryptic Let Loose event is streaming live on Tuesday, May 7th at 7 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Central time, and 10 a.m. for those on the East Coast. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, all of the clues for this event are practically screaming iPads, especially since we haven't really had an upgrade on these since 2022. And there's a couple of things that give this away. One being that Mark Gurman spilled the tea earlier this month that the iPads are low in stock at the Apple stores, which is a strong indicator that we'll be getting a new drop, along with him bluntly tweeting that we will be seeing the iPads during an event the week of the 6th. So he was pretty spot on with that one. Now, if you head over to Apple's website, you can see that they're advertising this event on their main page which every time you refresh the page, you're gonna see that a different Apple logo will appear. So apparently on one of these logos, you can see the word air spelt out in lowercase letters, but don't feel bad if you don't see it because honestly, I still don't. So no judgment here. Now on their event page, you can see the hand flipping the pencil. And even Tim Cook made a subtle yet not so subtle tweet saying to pencil us in for May 7th. And at the time of me making this video, Mark Gurman tweeted that the big focus of this event is gonna be on the Apple Pencil. So I think that it's safe to say that we'll definitely be seeing the new iPads with a new pencil. So let's go ahead and start off with the iPads since these are gonna be the ones taking the main stage during this event. We can pretty much guarantee that the M3 chip is gonna be powering these iPads, especially with the WWDC literally the following month in June, which is where we can expect Apple to officially reveal the M4 chip. That and the fact that Mark Gurman's said that we're not gonna be seeing the M4 chip until the fall in the MacBooks. So the M3 seems like the most likely candidate for the new iPads. Hi there, future me here. While editing this video, Mark Gurman decided to give us his two cents again, saying that now there is a strong possibility that we will be seeing the M4 chip with the iPad Pro release, skipping the M3 altogether, and that he believes the iPad will be the Apple's first truly AI-powered device. With AI progressing so fast, this could be true, but I honestly don't think that they would take the limelight away from this at the WWDC just a few weeks later. With all of that being said, I wonder if the iPad Air is going to skip the M2 and launch with the M3. I feel like these leaks are all over the place right now, so tell me what you think below. And we can probably expect to see a new iPad makeover. Leaks are suggesting that we're going to get a larger size, possibly in a 13 inch, with a crazy thin 5 millimeter design. And the bezels could be getting much thinner thanks to the super thin OLED displays making it a lot lighter to carry. It's gonna feel really weird holding one for the first time considering they're already so thin. Speaking of OLED, both the iPad Air and the iPad Pro displays will be getting an upgrade. The iPad Pro's display is rumored to ditch the mini LED technology for a dual stacked OLED display. This is gonna mean richer colors, deeper blacks, and faster refresh rates. And these might be the best displays that Apple's ever put in a device, so be prepared for a price jump. It's super crazy to think that the iPads might be getting this technology, before the laptops, but I'm here for it. Sorry guys, future me jumping on here again. So I also forgot to mention earlier, but the iPad Air is also gonna be getting the 12.9 option for the first time. As I'm editing this video, so many leaks and rumors are coming out and it's changing nonstop. So I wanted to keep you up to date. And according to recent reports, we might not be getting the OLED display in the iPad Airs. And this is gonna be due to the high cost of them. So unfortunately, they might be keeping the mini LED display. Now I know some of you are wondering, and I don't think we're going to be getting the iPad mini, at least not until later this year, which it hasn't even been upgraded since 2021. So that makes this the longest that Apple has taken to upgrade an iPad. Anywho, sorry for interrupting. Let's get back to the video. The brightness level is going to reach the same 1600 nits or even higher, and they might even have a matte screen option to minimize glare and reflections. The camera on the iPads might be getting a long overdue upgrade. Leaks suggest that the front facing camera is going to be relocated located to the side of the iPad instead of the top. This means the camera would stay upright during landscape mode, making video calls and FaceTime sessions way easier. Plus you'd get more screen real estate and using the keyboard or stand would feel more natural. Better late than never. 
<laughs> this means no more awkward video calls in landscape mode. And in doing so, this could lead to a new spot for charging the Apple Pencil. And speaking of, we've had leaks of it coming out with interchangeable tips in different shapes that will make drawing and painting even more precise. An added squeeze gesture for certain actions is also rumored, giving more versatility and customization. Hi again, I swear this is the last time that I interrupt, but it's also said that we will be getting haptic feedback in the pencil for the first time. And this is according to Mark Gurman. Okay, I'm done. And another big rumor is that it might be getting a new color sampling sensor, meaning you can touch something in real life and it'll replicate that color on your iPad. Now this seems super cool, but I honestly don't think we're there yet. We could be. But I don't know. I mean, a touch bar like this one would be pretty awesome. Now onto the Magic Keyboard, which also might be getting a redesign as well. The redesign might have an aluminum material on the top case to make it a little sturdier. And with the redesign paired with the iPad, it's gonna resemble the way the MacBook looks. And we could also expect a larger trackpad. We also have leaks for a MagSafe on the iPads themselves, which could be a game changer, making it where we can even mount our iPads in the car for a bigger navigation screen. Now, Apple has been pushing a AI like crazy, and they're expected to announce the revamped Siri and a ton of new on-device AI tools with the iOS 18 release, which rumors suggest that Siri will have more natural conversations and better user personalization. Apple is also working on an improved interaction between Siri and the Messages app, so it can auto-complete sentences more effectively and answer complex questions. Apple's initial plan for iOS 18 is to keep AI features running directly on the device without relying on cloud servers. This ensures faster response times and better privacy control. German has said that it could be one of the biggest iOS updates, if not the biggest. So I'm pretty excited to see what this iOS 18 is all about. Now, like I said earlier, with the WWDC literally being right around the corner and the iPad event being so close to it, we might be seeing a lot of these features on the new iPads. Now, I'm sure you've heard about this one, but one of the bigger updates with Apple is that we're finally getting the calculator app on the iPad. Considering what Apple Apple's accomplished over the past however long, I'm sure adding the calculator app was very challenging for them. So let's give them a hand of applause. Don't act like you haven't done it before. Now they might be adding this to the iPads in the iPad event, or they might be waiting till the WWDC to announce it with the iOS 18 release. It's also rumored that we might be getting a longer battery life as well, which we currently get only 10 hours on all the previous models. We can also expect to get the battery count reading with the battery health. Let me know in the comments below what you're most excited about and which leaks that you think are legit or just wishful thinking. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry I've been at 7 a.m. Pacific time. Our the bezels, the bezels, and what leaks? Comfort color sampler, color sampler sensor, color sampling sensor. There we go. The apples ever put in a product. 10 a.m. for those on the west coast, east coast. Shit.